Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Seal who shot Bin Laden has a message for you on the 4th of July. Robert O'Neill, the Navy SEAL who had the pleasure of taking out the biggest mass murderer in U.S. history, Osama Bin Laden, has a message for all us Americans on this 4th of July holiday season. Here is what he had to say via Fox News. Since I was a young boy, the 4th of July has always been one of my favorite holidays. I grew up in the Rocky Mountains in Butte, Montana, where hot summer days are the exception rather than the rule, but you could usually count on sunshine and a lot of people out on the street for the Independence Day Parade. We would also cram the local parks the night before for the big fireworks display. On the 3rd of July. Yes, the 3rd, Butte will not pass up the opportunity to start the party early. I celebrated Independence Day 2013 in Boston, the first after the Boston Marathon bombing. From the Esplanade to Fenway Park, flags were everywhere and patriotism was in the air. I've also spent Independence Day in Afghanistan. In Iraq. Places where flags and freedom are in short supply. What are we celebrating? Our independence from British rule and our nation's sovereignty? Not one person reading this has ever had to rebel against an unjust monarchy. Does our nation's revolutionary spirit of 1776 still ring true in 2018 or has the meaning of the 4th of July changed? Well America, like freedom itself, is not a destination. It's a journey. Our freedom, like anything in life, was not handed to us. We had to go out and get it, through unity and action and by seizing the opportunity. And America is the land of opportunity. But you will need to work for it. I did not become a Navy SEAL the day after I signed my enlistment papers and I was certainly nobody's bet to become a member of an elite team. But at every step along the way, positive or negative, another opportunity came along with it. I couldn't really swim going into the Navy and SEALs do more swimming than some species of fish. But Butte has a swimming pool and I had an opportunity. I learned. I would have to learn a lot and I would have to spend hours doing lap after lap, but I took the opportunity. Find your dream and chase it wherever you are. You need to work for it and nothing worth having is going to be handed to you. Accept opportunity. America is the land of opportunity. During SEAL training and particularly Hell Week, I learned what it was like to live with a broken body. I worked harder than I ever had in my life and my memories are not particularly fond. It was a painful opportunity but one that paid off as I became a Navy SEAL, presenting an entirely new career of opportunity and challenge. It was some of the hardest work anyone has ever done. But it was the price I had to pay to achieve the dream I had back home in Butte, Montana. O'Neill then continued by giving the example of an old friend, Colt Anderson. Anderson is a nine-year veteran in the NFL and also from Butte. He puts on a huge fundraiser for his Dream Big Foundation which simply encourages kids to find their dream and to believe in their dream while at the same time to work to achieve their dream. It also encourages them to put down their mobile devices. The retired Navy SEAL then went on to explain that Colt is the living embodiment of what it meant to chase down a dream. He is not what you typically think of when you picture an NFL safety and that's exactly what has made him a proven leader and even a team captain at one time, said O'Neill. Colt is a lot smaller than many players at the college level. And he was almost passed by the recruiters because of this. He didn't let that stop him though, he walked on at the University of Montana and, through the relentless pursuit of his dream, became an All-American. O'Neill then moved on to explain the life of another friend, John James. My friend in Michigan, John James, has had many dreams. Early in his life it was to fly. But nobody just hands a teenager the keys to an Apache helicopter no matter how bright and eager they are. It's not until they're 18 that they're informed that they don't really use keys. John knew he had to get into West Point if he wanted to fly, so he kept his grades up. He applied and got in. Opportunity. He kept his dream alive and his grades stayed sky high. He graduated from West Point in 2004 and became a Ranger Qualified Aviation Officer earning a Combat Action Badge and two Air Medals while serving with distinction in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Upon leaving the Army with hundreds of combat hours over Baghdad, John went back home to Michigan to work the family business, James Group International. Another opportunity. He has since become president and led the company from earnings of $35 million to $137 million while creating 100 additional jobs across the country since 2012. But his dreams do not end there. John is a pro-life, pro-Second Amendment conservative family man whose dream now is to become Michigan's next senator. And if there's one thing he's shown is that he's willing and ready to work for it. This folks is what makes America America. A place where you can come out of nowhere and become a president like Obama did in 2009. 
or you can overcome adverse conditions and still be an all-American football player. Sadly this is what the left doesn't seem to want to understand, they bitch and moan about those less fortunate, but they don't understand that if you want, and you work hard for it, anything in our great country is achievable. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.